Hi everyone, this is Sam for Ratings.com and this is number 9 of our weekly updates. And with this update, we are adding microphones to our headphone reviews, which means we're going to review gaming headsets pretty soon as well. We have already tested the microphones on all 86 of our headphones that do have a microphone and the results have been published on the website today. In this video, I will go over the new test, show you a couple of different examples and also discuss the limitations of our new test. Our microphone reviews are divided into two sections, recording quality and noise handling. Recording quality shows how natural, neutral, extended, and intelligible speech would be with the device on their test, and noise handling is concerned with how intelligible and separated speech would be in a noisy situation, like talking on the phone on a busy street or on the bus. The target for our recording quality test is the response of a calibrated measurement microphone placed five centimeters away from our dummy head's mouth. And based on that, we calculate low frequency extension, frequency response standard deviation, high frequency extension, harmonic distortion, and gain. For noise handling, we calculate speech to noise ratio, which is the level difference between the signal played through the mouth and the noise played in the background at three different angles. Our reference levels are 94 dB SPL for the mouth signal and 70 dB SPL for the noise, measured five centimeters away from the dummy head's mouth. All right, let's take a look at a couple of examples. Here we have three headphones, the Razer Kraken USB to the left, the Apple EarPods in the middle, and the Apple AirPods to the right. The Razer Kraken is a USB gaming headset with a boom mic. The EarPods are wired with an inline microphone and the AirPods are wireless Bluetooth with a built-in microphone. In terms of low frequency extension, the Kraken outperforms the other two with an LFE of around 20 Hertz, mainly due to its proximity and closeness to the mouth. The other two are getting an LFE of around 300 Hertz because they're not so close to the mouth. The frequency response of the three is pretty similar, especially since we score them only between LFE and HFE and we ignore the rest. The Kraken and the EarPods are getting an HFE of around 13 kilohertz, but the AirPods, because of the limitation of the Bluetooth protocol, are only limited to three kilohertz. The AirPods also perform worse than the other two in harmonic distortion test, again, because of the limitation of the Bluetooth protocol. Noise handling is mostly dependent on proximity and closeness of the microphone to the mouth and also the directionality of the microphone. And here you can see that the Kraken, again, outperforms the other two because it's a boom mic and it's so close to the mouth. In their current state, our microphone reviews have a couple of limitations that almost exclusively affect wireless and dsp aided headsets and have little to no effect on wired and analog headsets. The first limitation is that at the moment, we are not assessing the quality of the microphone's wireless codec and the effects of data compression on speech intelligibility. The second limitation is that the mouth signal that we use for our speech to noise ratio test is not actually a speech recording, but a pink noise. This means that if the device under test is doing some clever DSP tricks to separate speech from background noise, like beamforming or automatic gain control, we may not catch it. We have also noticed that AGC could introduce a little bit of error into our SPNR tests, but we have developed some workarounds to minimize those errors. But the good news is that these limitations are most likely going to be temporary. Since as part of our test bench, we have recorded more than 10 minutes of audio per headphone using different combinations of speech and background noise, which we can use later to calculate real life speech to noise ratio, as well as more specialized metrics for codec and speech quality, such as PESC and Polka. We're also planning on making those recordings available as part of a playback feature. So that's it. Please go ahead and take a look at the microphone test results and share your opinion with us. And if you like what we do here, please subscribe to our channel and see you next time.